Oh, so dig it and check yourself before you wreck yourself because I is here with four people who is all four about something called religion. How powerful is God? I think there is a power. Uh, I think most people at one point or another experience uh, that power. They draw upon something that seems larger than themselves. Can God do better stuff than David Blaine's? You're asking God to, to make square circles, which are impossible. God can't do impossible yeah. things. That's not a limitation on God. There have always yeah, been magicians, we've, uh, and, and there always will be, and some mm -hmm. of them uh, claim <laughs> to be really producing magic. So but ain't God just like an overhyped yeah. David Blaine? No, and a lot of people would find that suggestion very offensive. Yo, sorry. If God has got all these amazing powers, why don't you flex it every day? Like if you has got it flaunted, I mean, mate Dave, he's got a nine inch, he gets it out all the time. God should be showing his powers. Mm. Well, let's talk about this man, the main man, the Magdadi of the Christian thing. What was his name again? Jesus Christ. Yo, that's the one geezer with the tash and the sandals and everything. That's the way he's portrayed in contemporary art, yes. What day is he meant to have been born on? We celebrate his birth on the 25th of December. Ain't that a coincidence that he was born on Christmas Day? No. Why did Jesus go around with all them reindeers? I'm not sure I've seen the same image as you've seen. I think you're confusing him with Santa Claus. So does Jesus really exist, or is it just your father yes. dressed up? Yes, Jesus exists as the second person of what we believe to be the triune God. Is it true that he was born in a stable? It's possible. He was born in those kind of simple circumstances. No room in the inn, that sort of thing. There was no thing. room in the... Well, that, yeah. well that's because it was Christmas, isn't it? Let's talk about some rituals. Why does you lot chop one of your nuts off? Well, you, you're a little bit off target. It's a foreskin. But why did you agree to do that? Like, Julie once asked me to shave my ghoulies, but <laughs> he said, you know, that me never would because of their second day's yeah. double. I, I well, it's done all eight days old, so the fact I, is, before you get a chance to agree. Let's talk about marriage. Would you ever marry someone who weren't the Jewish? Uh, I wouldn't, and the reason I wouldn't is because the family that I want to create is a family that's going to have Jewish values in it. What if she was really, really fit, though? Doesn't matter. That's what? not the most important thing in life to me. What about if Foxy Brown came in here now and said, Yo, we want to marry you? Uh, the answer is, if she's not Jewish, you're not willing to convert to Judaism, She's got her traditions, she's got her way of doing things, she should live her own life and build her own family. Would you ever marry a Jewish girl? I've chosen not to marry. I've chosen... What, just to play around? ...celibate life. So how many months has you been celibate? 52 years. Next so you time. ain't done it? For That's people. right. That's right. And I can tell you, there's more to life than sex. Mm. Would you, as a gesture of bringing us together, marry her? There are other ways of bringing us together than marriage. What if she was a bit fitter? Would you consider marrying her then? I am considering marriage not at all. But, but people out there, they see people as men to be religious, behaving in an unreligious way. Ain't it hypocritically that so many nuns also work part-time as strippers? Well, I don't think you can <laughs> demonstrate that statistically. Yo, That's an absurd statement that you've just made. <laughs> no, it ain't. I have been at my mate Ricky C's 21st, and there was this nun that came in, and, and like, this, like right, 10 so minutes later, she had a bubble on out with so you just said, you just, But you just said so many nuns work as strippers and he's this <laughs> one. She well, could have said her name was Sister Fista. But but she a part of her act was that, that who she was. Yeah. I would really prefer that you move off this topic because I find it offensive. It's not yeah. documented by any kind of evidence. We've it's got a video. Hearsay. It's I've hearsay. Got a video 
Yo, so we just want to say big up all yourselves, respect. This has been well interesting. It's been deep. It's been everything. There's been times when it's been boring. But that's life, isn't it? Yeah. And that's deep. Keep it real. And you lot out there, listen up to what has been said and think about it for yourself.